Mickey, that is blatant malicious compliance. I don't even know the meaning of that word. Anyway, it's it's when you took something that I said and you twisted it. Mm, let's explore option B first, okay? What if we took what you said and ran with it and you're just not liking the results of your idea? And what does that mean? You thought that you would be able to profit from your prejudice, but actually it's just in poor taste and proving to not be profitable whatsoever. It would be profitable if you would just book the right client. And what are the right clients? Please remind me. People who don't do their own hair at home, okay? I am tired of the color corrections. I'm tired of price haggling. I'm tired of trying to accommodate people who use splat and then expect us to make them platinum blonde and their hair not doing what we need it to. I would rather just do virgin hair. Okay, so you're wanting to get rid of more than half of your clientele just because there are color corrections and fixes, right? Right. I'm tired of it. If you get rid of color corrections, you get rid of most of the salon's income. Mickey, nowhere of all, please tell us, how do you figure? Let's just say that you somehow managed to keep your stylists who are no longer making the income that they were used to making because you've gotten rid of, like I said, more than half the clientele. You are still going to see a severe decrease in sales now that you're no longer taking those clients. Definitely not picking up whatever you're putting down. When someone comes in who has done their own hair and they need it changed for one reason or another, is it more expensive or less expensive than doing that of someone who has virgin hair? Right. Right. Because normally there's more work to be done and more product to be used when doing a color correction. And it's really deplorable that I even have to use that as an example for you to feel like a client is worth keeping because all clients are worth keeping as long as they're not Karens. But anyway, do you see my point now? This entire situation could have been avoided had you- Nope, we are not deflecting and blaming me. This was your bad idea and now we are fixing it. We're not backtracking. Try not to forget that I am your boss and please go tell Siri to reschedule the client clients even want to come back. What was that? Nothing. Are you sure you're not using that moisturizer? No, Mickey. Shame. Why do you look so cheerful? We all still virtually have like no clients for the month. Oh yes we do and you can go ahead and put the color corrections back on our books, you know, if they still want us. How did you pull that off? I just keep showing her the many errors of her many ways. Malicious compliance, I must say you really are a hairy godmother. I don't know the meaning of the word.